Okay, onward with the tutorial. So you'll want to get a pair of shorts that you like. This is a side cut uh, shorts from Windsor that I'd like to use that I got from Poshmark and I'll link that below. Then also we want to go to Hobby Lobby and get some of the decorative crystal trim. And this is actually, you can iron it on or you can E6000 it either way. It's $7.99, you can catch it on a clear 50% off. So I highly suggest doing that. And um, this is a yard, so we will have a lot to play with. Um, and let's see, this is a eight rows cross crystal trim that I'm using. I may not need that many, but just in case, I want it to bling for days. And you'll need your iron or your glue if you're gonna use E6000, or if you wanna use your hot iron, go for it. All right, so here I'm just measuring how many. Okay, so like I said, I had eight crystals um, on this row. So I'm probably only going to use five. It looks like five fits comfortably here. So um, now we're just gonna have to make the strips. There's nine of these little strips here, and we're all set. So just gonna make nine of those. And yeah, let's do it. All right, so here is my nine little strips that I made. I'm still gonna still gonna make four more here, but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut them out to size, make sure they they line up pretty pretty good, and then I'm gonna cut them uh, five rows deep since these are a little too big. Um, I'm gonna cut them down to five, and um, anything left over we could use to add on later. Um, to whatever it is scraps but I don't want to waste them so um, here we go we'll just do that right there all right so what we want to do is iron out your pants make sure they are nice and flat if you need to pin down your sides use table pins to make sure that um, you're all cinched as far as part as you can be um, so see uh, this fits perfectly right there and I'm gonna use a cheesecloth. I'm gonna put that over just to make sure that it doesn't transfer over. And we're going to use our hot iron and hot iron press on there. You don't wanna use it for too long. You don't wanna scorch it and you don't want it to stick to the bottom of your uh, flat iron. So, okay, let it sit again and then lift it off don't let it sit too long guys once again if you don't like to use an iron i highly suggest using e6000 if you don't want to use an iron it does the same trick just make sure that you care for it differently when washing as you probably should do the same with um, even using the iron got to care for this pant now different so um as you see this is what one side looks all completed this is all laid down And then of course, don't forget to repeat on the other side. Bam, now let's do a sunlight test. Do you guys remember a TV show called Next? I was actually nexted twice for these type of pants. 